Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Got a picture of us taking a picture. <laughs> <laughs> I'm elected. Ask him to say something, Marty. Yeah. What do you want him to say? Say hello. Say hi to America. Bobby, I'm here. Hello, come here. We're in Hawaii. Hello. 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 We can just pan the square <laughs> you gotta remember what all this stuff is after you take it off. Absolutely, he will remember. He doesn't remember. He'll be in serious trouble. No. No? What are they? God, it looks like looks like Times Square. Yeah, they call this Renshan Renshan. You know, I, I collect uh, Chinese Mountain stamps. And and I have a stamp of that particular. Oh, what would that be called? A monument? Yeah. Obelisk in uh, the memorial tablet of heroes. Stamps, you can see all of these. It's gone, you guys. This is the uh, memorial. So they have a Jefferson Memorial. This is not the one before. People are lining up to see the remains of. He's actually.
actually in a glass case. It's actually fully preserved. This is a slow day. It's a Tuesday. Imagine how much you like on the weekend. You go in Wouldn't have thought so at the airport this morning. No, it's well, <laughs> just every place you go, there's so many people all trying to get something. Generally, what everyone else wants. While we were standing in line, side of getting the uh, airline ticket, someone tried to butt in ahead. And, you know, I couldn't really understand, but some people must have called them on and said, I saw them pointing to the line. They don't even fluff it off. Yeah. Get up there and hurry. Say hello, Marty. Say hello. Talk to Jeff, okay? Can they wave? They won't wave. I asked them. No. I don't believe you're waving. Just smile. Yeah, 
Yeah. Just, yeah. Next one. Refuse to buy from them. <laughs> oh, these are the stamps that came out just today. They were out of the South Did you buy any? No. There's no deals. What are they going in there for? <laughs> say a few words about what it feels like to be walking in the land of Kanbumweji. And all I can say is what an experience. Stepping off a plane, almost like into an era, over 85 years ago, when another young man, and I still think of myself as a young man, stepped off a boat onto a land fraught with adventure and danger and walk these very lands that we are trekking today that uh, only a few years ago we would have thought was only a dream there was no way possible we could have been here we had minor inconveniences in getting here which i'm sure buzz will relate to everyone but uh, i only look at it or put it into perspective as to what Kanbu went through 85, 90 years ago when he first was here. And looking at the land, and hopefully we'll be able to get some really good shots of the landscape, you can really get a feel for what Kanbu experienced back then. Because what we're seeing today is a land of contrasts. Although there are modern hotels and a few large buildings, basically the country is the same as it was when Congo trekked these, these lands. So we're hoping that we're going to be seeing the same kind of environment, the same kind of places that Congo saw, and hopefully we'll experience some of those feelings that he felt back then. And I know, uh, speaking for my colleagues, Mr. Buzz Durkin and, and Mr. Martin Dow, and to tell you that we are extremely excited. And we're really looking forward to the next couple of days. How did it feel to get off the plane and the first person we meet say, first words we hear at Fuking, George Matson? I was shocked, <laughs> especially after our treatment in Peking. It, it was quite a shock. Uh, we were anticipating getting off the plane, trying to find a taxi or find some mode of transportation to make our way to some hotel. Uh, perhaps a, a hotel that might have a bed. Uh, we certainly wouldn't, didn't expect a shower or a bathroom. So we were pleasantly surprised when we were greeted by a very pleasant and beautiful young lady who uh, Incorrectly, but we able, were able to decipher it and said, George Manson. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about karma and the way this puzzle all came together 
vis a vis meeting Master Tamayosi's daughter. Tell, why don't you tell how, how we met out of, a, out of a city of over a billion people? <laughs> Well, we were talking on the plane, you know, how in any given place you walk up to anyone and you will find something in common with that person. If you go, you know, if you can trace far enough back, some, somewhere that person will have crossed paths with you. And uh, in our brief stay in Peking, we met a uh, former student of Jim Maloney. I believe his name was uh, Stuart. Was Keith, it? Keith Hare. Keith Hare, yes. And, you know, out of the blue, well, there he was. He was trekking his way across China. And when we got off the plane at, in Peking, it was very late. We couldn't find a hotel. There were no rooms anywhere. So we ended up traveling about well, at least uh, 75 miles to a little run-down place way off in the, uh, in the boondocks where they, they happen to have what they call like a dormitory style, a large room with uh, many beds and you just sort of plop out for the night there. And uh, uh, when we finally got there and got all squared away, they thought we were, were in the country illegally because it just wasn't possible for a, a foreigner to travel in China without not only an escort, but with all the travel plans prearranged. This just wasn't done. Here we were off on our own. Fortunately, Marty Dow speaks uh, fluent Chinese, so we felt very much at home wherever we went. We just made our own plans. But while in this little off-the-path uh, rooming house or boarding house, uh, there we met uh, a former student of Jim Maloney's. And on the second day, uh, while we were trying to uh, uh, locate the Okinawan group at the CITS, which is the uh, China, China Travel Service, uh, we found out by uh, trying to trace the group through uh, Ryuko Tamiyoshi's name that the girl said, oh, there was someone else here by the name of Tamiyoshi just yesterday trying to tra trace the same group. And unfortunately, we had to give them the same answer. They, were, you know, they, they didn't know anything about any groups. So when we went back to the hotel, uh, we were coming back quite late uh, two nights ago. Uh, was it last night or two nights ago? I lost all track of time. <laughs> two walking, nights ago, I think. Walking either down the stairs or coming last up night. the stairs. Yeah, last night. And there, uh, Tamiyoshi's daughter, uh, Kazu, uh, ran right into us, and there she was <laughs> staying at that same hotel. Uh, there are just no other rooms in, in, in town. So we met all kinds of interesting people. And while on the plane from Peking to Fu Chao, Marty struck up a conversation with uh, an individual who uh, had been in Maine and uh, was uh, planning to return to Washington in a couple of uh, either weeks or months, I forget which, and uh, said that, oh, if he had only known about this particular group of travel, he could have made all these plans ahead of time. But as far as the karma, I, I really believe that, uh, you know, that luck is on our side wherever we travel. Uh, this Weiji Karate is a, uh, is, a, is a very moving experience for all of us, and we just we can't do anything wrong. I'm getting this feeling now, I don't worry about anything. We got off the plane in Fu Chao, no one was nervous, including Buzz, who normally is a very nervous person. But even uh, even Buzz, sort of, we, grew off, we resigned to the fact that we're here and that we were going, going to discover the roots. We have the names of the, uh, of the, the teachers and the, the, the place where they work out, and we just know we're going to have a very successful trip now. There's no way that it can come out any other way. Thank you. Looking outside the hotel room right now in the city of Fu Chao, Peking, which was very flat, uh, this is quite a contrast to, uh, to Peking. We have a lot of mountains here, a lot of water, a lot of greenery also. Peking was sort of devoid of any color. It was very uh, much uh, neutral. Here you see a lot of beautiful uh, flowery plants and trees. The rice paddies are off the distance, and you might be able to see the production of the world. Again, you see the contrast between the old and the new. They're trying to become more western. On the other hand, they do right around the, that which is ancient. And I hope they continue to preserve that. It would be a shame to lose that to civilization.
Today is March 28, 1984, a very memorable date in Wei Chiru history. Not too long ago, our associate on this trip, Martin Dow, returned from a journey <coughs> to uh, downtown Fuchao area and uh, came back very excited, saying that he had some news for us. So before he tells us this news, we want to share it with everyone. Marty? That's, uh, I'm really excited by this. Uh, I have here a gift for you, George, as uh, the head of the Awichi Association of America, uh, from the uh, vice premier of the uh, Fuzhou City uh, Martial Arts Association. And uh, what it is, George, is uh, a picture of Shu Xiba. That's unbelievable. I mean, we came over here hoping perhaps to see Maybe San Chen and say San and Kata, and here we, we find a you know, founder. Why, what can you tell us about this, this individual? Well, first of all, I'd just like to say that uh, when the martial arts community in China found out how important this man was to not only people in China, but to people from Japan, Okinawa, and the United States, they were very flattered. And what's more, they, they decided that somebody who was this important, a fellow countryman of theirs who was this important to people in, in these other large friends of China uh, deserved to be, uh, to get some uh, attention. So what they did is they took a full year of... Uh, you guys moving a little closer, why don't you? Mike, can you move to your right a little? Yeah. That's... What, are you going to edit this? Later? No, we'll just, just keep it going. They, uh, they took <laughs> a very, full year. We're very ad-lib. All right, they took a full year or more, tracking out uh, everything that they could find out about this guy. And uh, they found out that uh, most of the people who knew this fellow the best are now uh, in their 80s, uh, 80s, between the high 70s and, and 80s or, or higher, remember him personally. Uh, what we know about him is that uh, he was a, uh, a native of an area not very far from here in the same province, but not within uh, Fuzhou city proper. And that he came into Fuzhou to run uh, his uh, Wushu Guan, his martial arts academy, where he taught many people. And he's very well known in that community, even today, by the people who were here then. In fact, uh, they know what kind of a person he was. So. The Chinese tell me that he was uh, remembered as a very gentle and warm human being, a person with a lot of uh, a very a man of peace. A man. He uh, did calligraphy. He it's painted. Yes. He uh, he was what we call in Chinese one uh, shuangtong, a man of war and of books. And uh, that's the highest compliment that, uh, that that the Chinese will give a martial artist. So not only did he exist, but he was a man of some quality. And. Uh, he has many uh, people who, who consider him to be the, the, the uh, father of what they practice now. Mm -hmm. uh, and we shall meet some of these people uh, later in the week. Some of these 80-year-old people? Well, we'll either meet, meet, I'm not sure who we're going to meet. We're going to meet people who practice in part what he taught. And I don't know who those people are yet. Now, of course, tomorrow, the, uh, the, the vice chairman of the uh, Martial Arts Association requests that you uh, that you come and uh, that the three of us go and meet with them to discuss uh, how we can best make use of the time we have to learn about not only uh, Shushiwa and uh, the origins of our system, but also about the state of Wushu in China today. I think there's any chance that we will be able to videotape some of the movements that uh, that came from his, his style. And can you tell us something about what, what his style was about? Well, I'm sure we're going to have an opportunity to do a lot of videotaping and a lot of uh, exhibitions and a lot of uh, uh, clinical kind of uh, free exchange between us. When I spoke with the people today, it was referred to as a tiger system. And that's all I know right now. I'm sure we'll get a lot more detailed information at the meeting tomorrow. I suspect they want to reserve 
the meat that they have right. to, to, to get us all together. And in fact, they're going to present us with a written version of whatever we're going to learn while we're here anyway, before we leave. So there will be a history of this man to the extent that it has been uncovered over a year's research. Yeah. So they must be very impressed that uh, people from the West and uh, Japan have, have honored such an individual, even though they, they didn't know very little about him, but have taken his work to be so important that... Uh, I can't say impressed, but just taken with the fact that we came all the way here not to see the Great Wall or the Heaven Gates or something else, or to buy furniture. We came here to meet this fellow and find out about him. And I think they were just blown away by that. I think so. All right. He has a very peaceful face. A peaceful face yeah. is a tremendous character. <laughs> yes, they were describing, uh, when, we, when they first presented me with a picture, they were describing his personal characteristics. And they mentioned that he looks, uh, he has the look that most uh, Chinese ascribe to a man who has mastered the way. In other words, a Taoist scholar. What does it say on the back, line? Taoist adept. It says, a gift. Okay, Marty, can you read what's on the back of the picture, what it says? Sure. It's on There's a present to the Uechi Karate Association of North America, George Madsen. Uh, it's signed by the uh, Fuzhou City uh, Wushu Association Vice Premier, Vice Chairman, uh, Li Ri. Uh, 28 March 1984. Do you want to just say to be continued, Marty, before I turn off? To be continued?
在夸吗？啊，只有合，只有合全。What's that mean? Six.、Uh... 哇，有加有加外。
up here and say that. A bit of a short form was to preserve the original movements of the original tragic forms, but they eliminated the repetitive nature of some of the forms. In other words, the movement was repeated three or four times, so they cut it down right. to one or two. What style is he doing now? What's that called? You know? This is the simplified tragic forms, government sponsored forms. Everybody. For help along the way. Something to do with the but he is very good at the devil's study of something. Nice flow to him, huh? Association. 
what's important that the, uh, to the utmost of their ability try to document this man's existence. They are very honored that this man has uh, triggered this much interest in the national archives. Did he uh, study the train from here? This is the place where he uh, practiced uh, and still existed. And he still practiced the same place.
所以在现在的这个我们遗留下来的东西，有照的一些照片。目前，呃，目前他还有一些教的徒弟，他这个组合在都教徒弟，他在哪教徒弟现在第四代。
以在中国练拳呢，不是说我练的是哪一门哪一门，就是说什么拳是一拳。对。所以他他学五星拳，他讲给日本人听也是听不懂，他就拿一个形容的词来说，就是。Years of age, or 52 years old when he died, and approximately 26 when Khan Bunwaji met him. Was that considered young to be a teacher at that time, uh, for around that age bracket? Shall I ask this question? I know. Similarly, uh, he 
he's not in a position to really say how similar or dissimilar they are, but perhaps we would. Uh, 
is very adaptable for the elderly, for the youth, and for what we call special populations.
the entire growth of Weiji Karate in America was because of, of George Matson. He was the sole person responsible for spreading it, you know, throughout America. Thank you. 
communities and ensure that in the future there is an opportunity for an exchange because we feel that you will be able to bring new insights to our systems and we will be able to share with you our ancient heritage. We don't uh, propose to make any contributions, but we will give you many problems to help us solve. Show you some of our. 